Ladies and gentlemen, it's boys, t Rose and Brick back with another episode of The Bachelor, baby. I am so psyched to cover this episode. <laughs> Look, we were a little down on The Bachelorette last, uh, last time we did a yeah. recap, but I am fired up again, I'm energized, and I'm ready to cover it like the professionals you are accustomed to seeing recap these episodes. Was this episode really that good, man? No, it what wasn't. What is it that has no, just got you so freaking fired up today, I think dude. it's the six Montuckies that we had <laughs> over the course of two hours. When hey, you dude. said we had 40 minutes left in this episode and we had each down like five beers, I was like, all right, good. We have plenty of time. <laughs> hey, man, you gotta do what you gotta do yeah. to make this episode yeah. of The Bachelorette enjoyable because as we said last week, we had kind of already checked out, but yo. Your boys checked in tonight, and we're staying for the rest of this. Well, season. you know what? I have a little sniffles, and you might see my—you might see me like rubbing my nose to like clear it a little bit. But you know what? I'm not going to the emergency room like Hannah. Oh, oh. Like I'm actually Dude. toughing it out, Sick and burn, I'm giving man. you guys like a real episode. Sick burn right there. Thank Anyways, you. in case you did not know, we are two bros to break. We're every week break through who's what's in mental or what's a bachelor and bachelor nation. Let's dive into episode three. All right. So the first group date of the evening, they go on some sort of like educational. Uh, tour right. of what it's like to carry and deliver a baby. All right? about the ladies. All about the ladies. I mean, I think Hannah even introduced the data, sort of like, you know, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to go through a lot of pain if I carry our baby and start a family one day. That's right. I want to make sure these guys at least appreciate how difficult that's going to be. That's right. Not only is part of that knowing what the technical terms and the, uh, all of the things involved with carrying a baby is, but yeah. what the actual pain is like. Oh. Yeah, and dude. she went to the extent of actually hooking these guys up to like electrical shockers, yeah, so that they feel what it's like to have contractions during birth. Yeah, so they have these things that you can. They're all over YouTube. In fact, your boys have talked uh, briefly about setting one of these like things up. Yeah. for the Two Bros is a Break channel. So if you want to see that, go ahead and comment. In go the ahead and donate below. fifty dollars, <laughs> and uh, we'll think about it. <laughs> yeah, we'll think about it. But anyways. Uh, we're, yeah, it's basically these pads that create, I think, some kind of like muscle spasm or contraction yeah. to help simulate what childbirth feels I'm like. I'm guessing it doesn't simulate what it feels like to have your vagina torn open all the way to your butthole. <laughs> That's just a guess. They didn't cover it in tonight's True. episode. They didn't mention uh, But if you were to ask John Paul Jones, that is the pain <laughs> he was experiencing. I gotta say, the that, was, on the guy, that yeah. was one of the biggest takeaways tonight was that John Paul Jones has one of the most hairless bodies I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Outside of his scalp, right? <laughs> well, it's crazy because, like, in theory, they're giving them all the same shock. But yeah. also, too, like, apparently these guys handled it totally differently. So you got to think, maybe it's the lack of hair on his body, right? Maybe well, it makes it that much more severe. I actually think it might have been the fact that he didn't have his arm positioned like this the way that Tyler oh, did. Oh, yeah, dude. Tyler was... Definitely giving a little, uh, giving a little flex for Hannah while he was going. Well, through that. so much so that even Jason Biggs, super relevant 2019, <laughs> right? Absolutely. Kudos to him Which, for for making it past uh, having sex with a cherry pie on screen. It really and is actually crazy. having a respect. We were career. talking about that while we were yeah. watching the show. Like, it is insane that this dude from freaking American Pie could be on this show yeah. in 2019 and still be like, oh yeah, Jason Biggs, no yeah. big deal. But anyways, they called out our boy, uh, friggin' Tyler. Tyler about yeah, you know he was, popping a little, uh, popping a little photo shoot. During, he was definitely you know, doing flex. the he was definitely doing the pose that you do during an Instagram when you want to make yourself look a little oh, on the yeah. thirsty side, right? Oh yeah, but hey man, it worked. Freaking Hannah is all about Tyler, all about him, and all about Mike because Mike told a pretty heart wrenching story tonight about the fact that he and. His girlfriend at some point were carrying a baby and yeah. they lost that baby and uh, you know it today's events were kind of triggering for him and yeah. Hannah seemed to appreciate him being so vulnerable to the fact that she actually gave him the group rose but right. not without a little drama beforehand. Uh, that's right. There's not real any comfortable way to say that. So you might as well say it while somebody's trying to interrupt you in that, that conversation, was right? Well, because I mean, freaking ABCs, man, you know, you boys. We gotta respect the ABCs, but baby, I love it. this was a friggin' rough move. It was, Cam. look, the way that they cut it, especially with him jumping in all the times where he's like mentioning a dead fetus, it's uh, <laughs> probably not the best time that you want to be jumping in and saying yeah. like, hey, I just gotta talk to her real quick. Yeah. So, didn't make him look good, but also when he finally got to talk to her, uh, the other guy who eventually ended up getting eliminated tonight, who was uh, telling him he had to start a conversation with her tonight, that was like a weird like standoff of two people who sure. were so awkward and uncomfortable that they ended up both going home tonight. Well, one of my favorite moves of The Bachelor that happens every season is the 
big drama that happens in like episode two between people that are going to be gone before episode three. Yeah, yeah. Right? Just two big drama moments where it's like, these guys aren't going to be around. Yeah, longer. it's like it an episode matter. of Hard Knocks where two guys are competing for like the 90 second slot on a football team. Exactly. When eventually they're going to get cut before the season. Exactly. All right, man. I don't know about you, but I'm pretty friggin' stoked, dude, to talk about this next seggy. And that's right. This is our boy, Connor, who got the one on one date tonight, man. And it was friggin' bad. He has my favorite voice out of anybody who's been on this show. Great, I mean, dude. His voice is totally surreal. For dude, I mean, if you've seen <laughs> yeah. Finding Nemo, his voice is actually the voice of Crush. That's the right, Surfer dude, really turtle. Uh, but yeah. I, I was a little upset because the date that was promised to him before Hannah got a rush to the emergency room was going to be them setting sail together. He was oh. going to be totally in his he element out on the water. That, yeah. I mean, even if it was going to be a sailboat that wasn't going that fast, he was going to be like, "Yo, let's." Let's like tackle wakeboard to this and let's see if I can like chill. actually cast a wave on this bad right, man. Just chill on the water today. I dude. Know, dude. That really actually sick. would have been so, so amazing to see him in his element. But, but unfortunately, uh, that wasn't going to be the case. Right. But our boy thrived. Well, I was going to say, we were talking like that would have been a cool date. But arguably, he ended up getting an even cooler date in a way. 100%. Because he got a super authentic date with Hannah, right? Hannah called in sick to the date, but yeah. not sick enough to fully cancel on it. Just sick enough to be like, hey, I can't do this date today, but I would really love for you to come on over, just hang out, and Connor friggin' delivered with the extras, right? Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like, they should actually plan, plan more dates like this, where it's like, yo... Well, this is going to be a really hectic uh, next, like, eight weeks or so. Yeah. Let's just spend a day just in bed. Just chill. Yeah. And the fact that Connor went above and beyond and, like, left all those po post-it notes for her on his way out and brought this, like, bouquet of flowers right. and this cup of soup right. and all the stuff that you would bring to somebody who's... Uh, Feeling under the weather. I exactly. mean, I think he actually stood out after all of this. Plopped down on the bed, said, You got any Netflix on this thing, dude? <laughs> I hope so badly. He was like, All right, what do you want to watch first? Do you want to watch Rampage or Skyscraper? Because you know that's the kind of movie that this dude is into. You like Jason Statham, dude? Oh, like, my. he's so bad. This ass, dude man. is such a Statham head. I mean, you know, he's like, Dude, he's the freaking transporter. Like, of course I love this dude. Yeah. Anyways, crush, freaking crush this day. He right? absolutely crushed it. And to the point where, like, I think Hannah was willing to sort of, like, call it a day after he left their, like, bed session that he had. Yeah. But she was able to muster the strength to invite him back out to, so that they could, like, dance to a live concert. Right. Uh, to a dude who looked like he had the haircut of Steve from Stranger Things. <laughs> Which, full disclosure, yeah. dude, I didn't pay enough attention to even know who the frick that guy no, was. No, so. and, and, But, I mean, with <laughs> our luck, he's going to have, like, 7 million followers just going to say, probably a huge act on yeah. Spotify. I've never heard of him before, but I guarantee he's like one of the biggest deals in yeah. the country right now. All right, so the last group day of the night involves a photo shoot, yeah. involves some espionage, Ooh. and involves a meltdown of one of the characters who is considered a front runner for this season. But Man. first, let's start with the photo shoot. That's I right. Mean, we have a photo shoot where these guys are told that they're going to have to take pictures with a bunch of models, and Hannah's going to have to be there, and some of the guys are like, I don't know, I'm going to have to deal in this environment with models and blah. Turns out the models are animals. Oh. Isn't that the most hilarious twist you've ever heard in your life? That is absolutely hilarious. But hey, man, it wasn't the biggest twist of the evening no. because... Well, as you said, there was some serious espionage going on yeah. n with none other. They got the equipment from the CIA, I'm pretty sure, to like, right. conduct this thing. That's right, they did. Uh, they got uh, Demi, who apparently is entirely free, right? Because and she's been on the show a, like three maybe times. Maybe a CIA officer, because all maybe, the things she's exactly. been involved in have been spying on people. Exactly, which is kind of a weird like role to take on. I mean, like you, you know, you think about it in the in the context of the show, like it's totally cool. It's entertainment. It's, it's entertainment. Whatever. But thus far, she has just been creeping majorly on all these guys. Well, the fact that like if you were to tell any of these guys in any sort of normal dating situation, "Hey, look, I did X, Y, and Z." The guy would be like, "What a huge invasion of privacy. I'm out of here." But yeah, all exactly. these guys I don't even think she told these guys tonight what she did, nah, right? No, nah, she didn't tell them, like, oh, by the way, I set you up with this freaking makeup artist who's actually paid to flirt with you so that I can catch you in the act. Yeah, I am actually shocked that none of the guys, especially Graham, the unemployed dude, <laughs> none of the guys actually strayed and, like, 
gave a little flirtation back. Oh, Every right, single man. one of them, like, shut that shit they down immediately. They all passed the test, yeah. according to I think what I saw on TV. I think I would have failed that test immediately. Anyways, hey, man, speaking of failing tests, you know who's failing the test tonight is friggin' uh, friggin' CrossFit Jesus, oh, baby. Oh, yeah, Luke P. Because he is unraveling before our eyes, man. Yeah, dude. Absolutely. I mean, he was, he saw, uh, what's her name? He saw Hannah kiss somebody else in public. Yeah. And from there, he seemed to have a pretty big meltdown. To yeah. To the point where Hannah took him on there one-on-one -on -one time and was like, yo, I appreciate the, like, level of interest you're showing in me, but at the same time, you gotta dial yeah, it back. Pump the brakes, dude. Because yeah. you gotta respect the fact that I'm in relationships with like a couple different people here, yeah. and uh, I feel like you're monopolizing all my time. And he's like, I totally get it. I totally get it. <laughs> and then he's like waiting outside her bathroom so he can yeah. like run into her. Which is so on brand. I mean, yeah. he's exactly the dude that we told you he was. Freaking episode one. I feel man. pretty good about the fact that we yeah, called that. Exactly, yeah. dude. It's been so obvious from a mile away. This dude is so used to getting what he wants most of the time that when it doesn't happen, yeah. he just freaking falls apart. I mean, when he wants and, a Bible verse, he just opens up his Bible and oh, reads it. Yeah, exactly. When he wants the most un, uh, unattractive <laughs> uh, cross necklace of the world, he goes and buys it. <laughs> and what yeah. is it about that cross necklace that's know. so unappealing? We're trying to figure that out. It's Let us so, know in the comments below. Uh, look, I actually don't mind cross necklaces, uh, but there's something that's like really chunky about that necklace that's unappealing. It doesn't help that he always like wears it like with fits that it just doesn't belong in. Well, he also wears it next to like the most gauche and disgusting pocket square that you've ever seen in your life. <laughs> the pocket square that almost, but like obviously very doesn't match the inside lining of right. his jacket. Right. The whole thing about his outfit tonight, I wouldn't be surprised if that was the fact, and that was the reason that Hannah was like, dude, you gotta step back tonight. That's why she wasn't willing. Yeah, to I don't even want to like yeah. see you right now because there's so much about what's going on with this outfit that pisses me off. Anyways, Luke sucks. Yeah. Uh, but you know who doesn't suck, according to Hannah, is Peter because Peter, he's yeah. the dude that got the rose tonight. Yeah, he's the pilot. He's the one who like is om seems almost amazed by everything. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, he really ended does. up getting the rose tonight, and uh, his fit wasn't all that great either. But you know what? <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't also smothering Hannah outside of the exactly. bathroom, so that's why he got the rose. So at the end of the night, we forego the cocktail party in favor of a friggin' pool party, man. Way better, if you ask me. Well, I love how they introduced, like, hey, we want to keep this light and fun. The first that's thing right. that Cam does is bring... <laughs> Hand up to the gazebo and be like, yo, look, I quit my job, uh, I have a congenital disease, and my puppy died. And it's yeah. like, Jesus, man, like, right. I want to go to a pool party in here. Right, exactly. Uh, and anyways, we've got a couple guys that leave us tonight. Uh, friggin' Cam being one of them. Cam being one of uh, them. The Jonathan dude, being the other. Yeah, is that the dude who's obsessed yeah. with the collars? And yeah. Joey, I think, is the other. Yeah, guy. oh yeah. So with the hard RIP part. to the hard I part. think he's gonna blame it on the fact that he wasn't able to maintain that hard part. Yeah. Because it got more and more filled in as the season went on. And exactly. It was like, if he, he was, was losing a, his luster. If he was able to clean it up, yeah. he'd still be here, man. He doesn't quite have the magic without <laughs> that huge space in between his uh, his part. That's right, man. Well, hey, speaking of magic, let's get to the magic builder of the night, which is. The two rows of break stat of the night. I don't know if people can see, but I'm wearing my shorts tonight, so my, that uh, nice. drum roll got All a little extra fleshy. That's right. um, but <laughs> so the stat of the night tonight is uh, an interesting one. I don't really know how to introduce it, so I'm just gonna go into it. Uh, so the labor simulator that these right. guys felt tonight. Uh, it turns out that most men who go through that labor simulator tap out after 30 seconds, which means that they tap out at pain level. 100. Okay. However they measure that, it's pain okay. level 100. According to pain tolerance, yes. it is registered on average at 100. Yes. Right? And this is oh, a level... Unless you're John Paul Jones, and then it's like a billion. <laughs> and, right? It's a level of billion at like the lowest level possible. Yeah. Uh, but it turns out that during the act of child labor, most women experience a pain level of 500, and they experience that pain level for... Eight to 14 hours. That's right, man. So these dudes who are going through it today, maybe they got up to levels higher than 100, but it wasn't much longer than 30 seconds. It was just a taste. Yeah, Just exactly. a taste and not even much of a taste, so I, right? So I hope so badly for the, for the sake of entertainment that these dudes are walking away being like, you know what, I have a really new appreciation for what women go through. <laughs> that's right. But they're not even close to what women go through. And on top of that, that's just the contractions element of it. Yeah. That's not to mention the fact that a big opening in your body is splitting 
uh, and into another big opening in your body. Exactly. Dude. So you know what? Kudos to the ladies out there. <laughs> And uh, if anybody's actually been through that, then God bless you. God bless you. Yeah. Absolutely, man. So, anyways, that is all that we have tonight for episode three of The Bachelorette. Let us know what you thought in the comments below. And check us out on social media. Where can they do that, Pat? At the letter or the number. <laughs> I'm going to say the number. The number's number yeah. probably easier. <laughs> At the number two bros brick on Instagram. Uh, hit us up in the DMs. There's a bit of a backlog right now, but uh, I will be getting to that. Because uh, without going into too much detail, I have a lot of time uh, this week. <laughs> well, if you don't get if you don't get back to it, man, uh, we're gonna hook you up to a uh, pregnancy simulator, and uh, you'll have to respond to all DMs. Tell us it. in the DMs. Do you want to see that versus uh, right, me actually respond to you in a personal level? That'd be a great way to respond to DMs, right? Yeah. Just hook the thing up until you've gone through all of the. Yeah. Backlog. If you want to see me good. go through the pain simulator, just say. Pain simulator or whatever, and we'll we'll figure it out from there. <laughs> That's right, but you can only do it at Two Bros Brick yeah. on Instagram. So until next week, we'll see you all soon.